we are well aware of fungible tokens like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but there are other tokens called non-fungible like a movie ticket. Welcome to Fix Your Finances, Build Financial Wealth. If you want to build your financial wealth and fill your mind with the right information, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more valuable content. Let's get to it. In a world that is coherently dependent on technology, popular industries like video games, graphics, and other forms that deal with creative work require something revolutionary so that they never run out of business. We have heard of cryptocurrency before, but NFT might be a new term. First, let us differentiate between what is fungible and what is non-fungible. Fungible goods are made up of discrete, individual units, each of which are interchangeable and functionally indistinguishable from one another. Gold and sweet crude oil are examples for fungible goods. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose you borrow a $100 note from a friend. To pay her back, do you really need to pay her back with the exact same note? Absolutely not. You can pay her back with another $100 note. In fact, you can give your friend two $50 notes or even 10 $10 notes. It will be perfectly fine because dollars are, for the most part, fungible. Now, let's suppose you borrow a friend's car. Will she be okay with you returning some other car to her? What if you break up her car and return her engine, wheels, doors, etc.? You'll be lucky if she doesn't file a complaint against you. So, what happened here? A car counts as collectible, which is why it is non-fungible. Non-fungible more or less means that it's unique and can't be replaced with something else. For example, a Bitcoin is fungible. Trade one for another Bitcoin and you'll have exactly the same thing. A one-of-a-kind trading card, however, is non-fungible. If you traded it for a different card, you'd have something completely different. Non-fungible token is essentially a database record on the blockchain that refers to a unique specific digital asset. That asset might be a song or a GIF. In the past month, people have spent over $1 billion on digital assets according to data from Crypto Slam. A batch of digital collectibles, known as the CryptoPunks, just sold for around $1 million in cryptocurrency in February. According to the Larva Labs Marketplace, 34 punks were purchased on a February Sunday by an unknown investor, who bought the lot for 557.5 Ether, the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum network. The sale came as a non-fungible token, Base Start. CryptoPunks was first launched in June 2017 and was developed by a two-person team of Matt Hall and John Watkinson at American game studio Larva Labs. They are 24 by 24 pixel art images that are algorithmically generated. CryptoPunks were released before CryptoKitties. They are innovators in the NFT space and were one of the inspirations for ERC721 tokens, which unlike ERC20 tokens are all one of a kind. Each CryptoPunk token was assigned a discrete NFT address on the Ethereum blockchain and then they were given away for free to Ethereum wallet holders. So, what's driving people to get in on the NFT mania? Investing anywhere from hundreds of dollars to, in some cases, millions. Crypto art investors say it's a combination of several factors, including the pandemic, as well as the rise in Bitcoin prices. In the past few months, crypto artists have been drawing more attention than ever before to NFT marketplaces with flashy sales. In theory, anybody can tokenize their work to sell as an NFT. But interest has been fueled by recent headlines of multi-million dollar sales. On the 19th of February, an animated gift of Neon Cat, a 2011 meme of a flying Pop-Tart cat, sold for more than $500,000. A few weeks later, musician Grimes sold some of her digital art for more than $6 million. It is not just art that is tokenized and sold. Twitter's founder Jack Dorsey has promoted an NFT of the first ever tweet with bids hitting $2.5 million. Christie's sale of an NFT by digital artist Beeple for $69 million set a new record for digital art. The work is a digital collage of 5,000 futuristic images by Winkleman, made one image every single day for 5,000 days starting on May 1, 2007 through January 7, 2021. Winkleman has made millions of dollars selling his work, with his sets often selling out in minutes. 
For example, his 2020 Everydays collection for 20 works of NFT-based 3D digital art sold for $3.5 million in December. But as with cryptocurrencies, there are concerns about the environmental impact of maintaining the blockchain. Bitcoin, like all cryptocurrencies, derives value from scarcity and the icy mathematical certitude of the blockchain. Central governments can't mess with it by printing more and the ledger is ironclad secure. NFTs harness the same principle to offer reliable proof of origin and ownership as they pertain to artistic assets. In March, at the mere suggestion of Tesla CEO Elon Musk selling his own digital asset, bids for the piece topped $1 million before Musk turned down the offer. Creators and buyers alike have seen significant profit from crypto art. In February, Miami-based art collector Pablo Rodriguez Frail first showed just how lucrative the market can be when he resold a piece by Beeple for a nearly 1,000% increase over its original price. Rodriguez Frail told Insider the surging price of Bitcoin, impact of the pandemic, and distrust in the US dollar created a perfect storm. During the second week of March, Bitcoin hit a record high, topping $60,000. Since the pandemic started, more people have been saving money. 59% of people with an income of over $100,000 significantly boosted their savings in 2020. As faith in the US dollar seems to be at an all-time low, NFTs could be another way for people to invest. It isn't only daft animal pictures making big bucks in this new world of NFTs. Short video clips of basketball games are also doing a lively trade. Over the past few years, basketball memorabilia of popular players has been sold for thousands of dollars. This mainly includes NBA greats like LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and the late Kobe Bryant. As per report, a highlight of James posterizing Nemanja Bjelica back in November 2019 was recently sold on NBA Top Shot for $208,000 on Monday. This is reportedly the most expensive sale the company has made. Iconic buy, said Roham Garigozlu while talking to Action Network's Darren Ravel. Garigozlu is the CEO of Dapper Labs, which produces Top Shot and the Flow blockchain. He added that it will be one of the rarest moments to exist on NBA Top Shot. With video, investors are already splurging over $100 million a week on these moments. The buyer was Jesse Schwartz, who also took to celebrating his purchase on Twitter. According to reports, NBA players also receive a cut from any sale Top Shot makes. The NBA partnered with Canadian-based Dapper Labs, makers of the CryptoKitties game, to make its version of a collectible digital asset. NBA Top Shot is a crypto collectible consumers can purchase as a non-fungible token. Each collectible is tied to a blockchain. Katie Tedman, head of marketing and team partnerships at Dapper Labs, says that Top Shots has generated more than $230 million in sales so far. Although most of this has come from traders exchanging the collectibles after their initial sale. Dapper earns revenue via fees captured from peer-to-peer -peer transactions and unleashing new packs of NFTs. It isn't just a cakewalk test doing a roaring trade on NBA Top Shots. One excitable fan just paid $100,000 for a clip of New Orleans Pelicans power forward Zion Williamson merely blocking a rival player's shot. Just a few months ago, Jasmine Boykins posted her artwork online for free. The 20-year-old digital artist's dreamy animations of black life were drawing plenty of likes, comments and shares, but not much income. Aside from money, she made selling swag with her designs between classes at North Carolina A&T State University. A bubble it may be, but many digital artists fed up after years of creating content that generates visits and engagements on big tech platforms like Facebook and Instagram while getting almost nothing in return, have lunged headlong into the craze. These artists of all kinds, authors, musicians, filmmakers envision a future in which NFTs transform both their creative process and how the world values art, now that it's possible to truly own and sell digital art for the first time. You will have so many people from different backgrounds and genres coming in to share their art, connect with people, and potentially build a career, Boykin says. Artists put so much of their time and themselves into their work. To see them compensated on an appropriate scale, it's really comforting.
technologists. Meanwhile, say NFTs are the latest step toward a long-promised blockchain revolution that could radically transform consumer capitalism with major implications for everything from home loans to healthcare. So that's it for today. You have learned that the main reason why people invest in NFT is its market efficiency. NFTs representing digital or physical artwork on a blockchain removes the need for agents and allows artists to connect directly with their audience. So are you planning to invest in NFT? Type NFT in the comment section if you are interested in NFTs. And make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at FixYourFinances underscore. See you next time at FixYourFinances. Your Finances.